Good day. My name is Andre Forbes. Today, I'm going to be praying for the Turks and Caicos Islands and the world. Before we pray, I want to share God's word with you. I'm going to be reading from Psalm 27, verse 7. Found it? Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, and be gracious to me and answer me. Let's pray. Father, this morning we want to exalt your name. We want to magnify you. We want to glorify you, Lord. For, Lord, you alone are worthy. You were the only lamb that was slain. You're the only one by which we are saved. And so, Father, we exalt your holy name and we lift you high. And today, Lord, we just want to come before you. And, Lord, we are going to ask, Lord God, we want to look upon our families, O oh God. But Father, the families in the TCI, Lord, I pray that during this time, Father, that Lord, they will grow closer together. That Lord, where there is animosity and strife, that Father, you will remove it in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for the neighbors, that those who are maybe even of different religions, Father, that Father, during this time, that you will raise people up to minister to them. I pray that they will feel the presence of your Holy Spirit and see the love of Christ shining through your body. Father, I pray for medical workers who are on the front lines, Lord, those in the hospitals, those in the clinics, those in the pharmacies, Lord God. I pray, Father, Lord, that, Lord, you will give them the strength and, Lord, you'll give them the grace, Lord God, to press on. I pray that even in this time, Lord, that you'll show them hope and that, Lord, you'll give them encouragement, Father. That even the very patients who may come in may, may bring a word of encouragement to them. I ask, Lord, that you will look on the government workers, Lord God. Those who are making decisions and policy decisions for the island, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that, Lord, you'll give them good will, wisdom. That, Father, you will cause them, Lord God, to govern well. I pray for those who are suffering financially, Lord, because of the loss of work or maybe being laid off, Father, reduced income. And, Lord, I ask, O oh God, that you will provide for them, that you will be their Jehovah Jireh. I pray that you will raise up persons, Lord God, to minister to those in need. I pray, Father, for sustenance that you will continue to sustain your people here on this island. I pray for our region, the Caribbean at large, that's suffering, Father, with this, with the threat of COVID-19. I pray, O oh God, that, Lord, you will give those ministers, Lord God, in the various islands and nations, Lord God, you will cause them to raise up, Lord God. You will cause your body, Lord God, to start to effectively show the love of Christ. I pray, Father, that those who have will share with those who do not have. I pray that you'll move upon the hearts of men, Lord God. I pray that compassion and empathy, Lord God, will arise even in this time. Father, I pray that your Holy Spirit will move upon the hearts of men and that even during this time when people are quarantined and isolated, that, Lord, your presence will be evident in the homes of those all around. I pray, Father, that you will cause, Lord God, families to be knit together through your word. I pray that families will spend time in prayer and seeking your face. I pray, O oh God, that the gospel will move abroad, O oh God. That through acts of kindness and through your movement in the hearts of people that people who do not know you will come to know you because the gospel is being spread not just in word but also in deed i pray that you will bless our nations O oh god bless the nations of the caribbean bless the nations of this world i pray for the peace of israel O oh god the peace of jerusalem and father i ask lord jesus that you will continue to bless this island, the Turks and Caicos Islands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.